So how many students would you say are currently enrolled in the OMSCS? Like worldwide. In OMSCS as a whole, it's about 15,000. Um, nice. It was just over 15,000 when registration closed for fall. And then there's always a, a smattering of people who get dropped because of bursar issues. And then some of them come back because they meant to pay and the check just got delayed or anything like that. And some just forgot to pay. Um, so I think we ended up just shy of 15,000. I think it ended up being like 14,996 nice. or something like that. So that's awesome. So, yeah. yeah that, I love the program that it's like so inclusive. I mean, you have so many people from all over the world that can do it. And oh, yeah. it's, it feels like it scales well. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's been the fascinating thing is we, we've we grown by about 35% in the past 18 months. Um, from oh. spring 2022 to fall 2024, we went from 11,300 students to just shy of 15,000. Wow. And the reason for that growth is kind of something we're kind of still trying to wrap our heads around. But I think the most fascinating thing about it is that it really hasn't changed fundamentally what we do. So I think you're, you're right about it's it's scaled pretty well. Because the model we used to scale persisted even when we had this kind of sudden rapid growth uh, that we weren't weren't anticipating. So, yeah. Did you see a rapid growth during COVID? We did. So we saw uh, about a 15% spike in applications during COVID, um, which was actually a little bit smaller than I, I anticipated. I was a little worried about it because <laughs> our application deadline for fall 2020 was March 15th. So the application deadline for fall 2020 was like right before it became clear right. this is going to be a thing that impacts all of us. Yeah. And so for spring 2021, I was anticipating a big spike because we already know that when there's you know economic downturn or anything like that, many people go back to graduate school to retool, to upskill, mm. to fill up gaps in their resume. You know, there's various reasons, but you you yeah. see college enrollment rise during recessions for many of those reasons. And when it's due to a global pandemic, you tend to go for the, I think you tend to go for the program that is affordable and yeah. it's already online because they're all going to be exactly. online. You may as well go for the one that was designed to be online, yeah. not the ones that are trying to figure out how the heck do we do this online? <laughs> um, so I, I actually, I was anticipating a bigger spike um, during COVID, but we had about 15% spike. We were pretty stable for about two years after that. So for the couple of years after COVID, we were stable between 11 to 12,000 students and it's only the past 18 months that we've seen it Interesting. Uh, dramatically uh, uptick. 